So we're actually running this through racing rigs here in the space, which I think is yes. really, really cool. It's been very, uh, very interesting to watch people, like, figure things out with the actual racing stuff. Yeah. And, of course, our, our players that will be performing here today, I think, are pretty used to it, honestly. Like, they, oh, yeah. most of them have home rigs. And so coming here in the space, it's just a matter of getting fine-tuned with the particular unit that they're using. Oh, it looks like we have a new person in this uh, lobby. Yeah, but uh, we have an open public uh, situation going yeah. on right now. We have a public room. So if you're a, if you're a Gran Turismo Sport fan, a yep. uh, Gran Turismo Sport player, uh, or uh, want to buy a copy of Gran Turismo Sport right now, you jump can in. jump into our Sweater Speed Ray uh, room. Yeah, just search for the Sweater Speed Ray and you should be able to find a freaking yeah, we're uh, we're gonna keep the room open for about fifteen twenty minutes, then uh, we're gonna run some uh, run some races, and hopefully yeah, it'll yeah. be a good time. Should be a lot of fun. And yeah. the, the thing that's really cool too is we actually have a, a third PlayStation unit. So we have two on racing rigs. We have a third PlayStation right here at the the commentator desk, and Ben is actively changing the like spectator cameras and stuff. It's really cool to see. <laughs> yep, you're gonna see me do a lot of really horrible switches, and uh, hopefully you can see your favorite racers uh, because. I'm going to be doing my best to make sure you can see absolutely everything. Yeah, it, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, of course, we are at the Black Eyes Space here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So it's, it's been a really cool end of the year, I think. We've had a lot of really awesome events. And so now we are actually in the, the last event of the year. Yeah. Which is sad, but it only means that come next year things are going to pick up. Yeah, last last event in 2021. You know, we're hitting, hitting the end. Uh, but you know, it's just a it's just a valley. You know, every hump has to have kind of a valley, and we're gonna get off uh, running when the new year starts. Uh, we've got our first event uh, in the first week of January. Uh, that'll be our Freezy Fridays event, and yep. uh, that'll be really exciting. Uh, I don't know if we have a, a player cap, but I'm sure we're gonna see a, a lot of entrants for it. Uh, personally. I'd really like to see uh, 34 come out again. Uh, he yeah. won our last tournament, uh, and he seems like he's very passionate about the game. So 34 is a very good player. Love to see Loaf again. Oh yeah, incredibly good player. Uh, Stealth pilot, I'm sure we'll see. Stealth oh, pilot is definitely yeah. like, constantly here in the weekly and just really putting up a great fight. The only time you really see Stealth pilot lose is when you have those really big players. Coming yeah, out. when you have like the best players in Minnesota come in, like these guys are just. These guys are just playing absolutely out of their minds, and, and Stealth Pilot is is more limited by the character he's playing, I right. would argue. Yeah. Uh, play playing Bowser, but you know, today we get our all casual events. Country. It's all about GT Sport. We get to talk about cores. We, we get to talk about all your favorite cores characters. You know, I love <laughs> Lightning McQueen. Uh, I, I, I was always partial to Mater. I was about to say, uh, you you seem to be like a Mater fan. You know, any Mater homies in the chat? Um. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to get into the uh, GT Sport, yeah. uh, I'd say in about 15 minutes. Hopefully we can get a full lobby, uh, just get lots of racers on our stream. Uh, Something I'm looking forward to is all of this will be available as a mod. I'll oh be, yeah. Uh, probably doing a lot of that processing this evening, actually, which I'm pretty pumped for. Which would be exciting. Get to rewatch the same event that we just covered. Well, we'll have like, you know, timestamps and information yep. and that sort of thing. Yes. So it'll be fun. Yeah. Same white doggo. Thank you very much. That. Anybody who is hanging out with us on stream, if you do want to send that link out to your friends or something, we would love to have you here. Oh, yeah, very much. I mean, a anyone you know who's interested in racing at all, I mean, they'd, I'm sure they'd love to tune into our stream. Our stream. We're, we're going to be talking about cars. Um, not the movie cars. Unless you guys want me to talk about the movie cars. We can have an in-depth analysis of the cars. cars. I was going to say, you know, we have some time here at the start. You know, we can talk about the cars here. So, oh, open time. So, Alex, what's your favorite <laughs> car? Alex <laughs> and, and chat. Alex and chat, what is your favorite cars movie? Uh, I don't think I, I've seen them all. I think I've only seen the first oh, one. Oh, no. Well, then you have a favorite. It's the only one you've seen. I guess. Personally, I do have a favorite. I, I like to I like to think I'm pretty outspoken about this, but yeah. if, if you're listening in chat and if you're listening to this on the bot, I am in fact a fan of Cars 2. Okay. Uh, if you've ever seen Cars 2, you know it's literally nothing like Cars 1. Uh, because Not that I know. Well, because Cars 1 is a racing movie, uh, and Cars 2 is a... <laughs> it's a spy thriller, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which... Is a wonderful deconstruction on the genre, and also is a movie that should not exist. Okay. It, it is just a really bizarre movie. But, you know, Walt Disney and Pixar definitely really uh, were... I mean, they were on some moon juice uh, when they were making that shit. I believe. Uh, I believe and, that's and that's like... 
you know, you can look up Cars lore, um, because, you know, it's the Pixar theory, which is like... Yeah. I, I don't subscribe to the Pixar theory, because I think it's like, kind of... It, it's almost like piecing it too far apart, but also... It reaches a bit. But, but Cars is kind of where that Pixar theory is like, okay, maybe this actually has weight. Sure, sure. But it's also... their Cars. Yeah. <laughs> Also, horrible fan art of cars on the internet. I recommend you don't look up any of this. Yeah, that's, uh, maybe avoid that. <laughs> but yeah, so we're here in Minneapolis. If you did want to know anything else about the space in general or upcoming events, go to blackice.gg in your yeah. web browser. Blackice.gg, you can check out. You know, we have our event details for tonight. Yeah. Uh, but also for our next event, the Freezy Fridays event, and Mixfest, which is going to be in the first week of January as well. It's going to be on January 8th. It's going to be the Anime Fighter Run the Mix uh, affiliated uh, monthly tournament. That'll be their first monthly hosted here, so I'm definitely really excited to see the whole Run the Mix game come out. And, uh, some extra money thrown into that pot. Oh, and then, of yeah. course, it'll be some of the fan favorites here at the space. You can see here Strive, Melty Blood Type Lumina, Dragon Ball Fighter, uh, Ultimate Ball vs. Capcom 3. Provided we can have a bracket of any of those. So we yeah. really need, like, I think the, the minimum is six in order to make a bracket happen, but the more the merrier, obviously, the more money that would be won. So yeah. The better competition. So if you're into any of those games, check us out in early January. Yeah, it looks like we got a fifth person in this uh, in this arena now. We've got nice. Lynn Specs. Uh, Lynn Specs entering. Is, is the last 20 up? Or no, he yeah. entered first. Oh, he was I the see. first it. person to enter. Yeah. So. Nice. Um, the other thing that we got going on can actually break down the rule set for this particular event. So, in Gran Turismo Sport, the, the way this competition is going to work is you must be three, three cars. The first lap is your warm-up lap. The remaining three will be used to register your best time. So we are doing time drive. Mm -hmm. uh, now this particular, just like, hang out and race, we probably won't pay attention to the time trial super much, but it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm really interested to kind of see... Uh, how how the people who we don't know about show up to this event, right? Right. Uh, I mean, we we have our, our racer. Yeah. We have our racer yeah. uh, for Black Ice. Mm -hmm. uh, fittingly named Audi. Yeah. Um, Do you spell that the same way? Uh, you know, that's an excellent question. Uh, I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, but we're, I mean, we're definitely going to be figuring this out um, sooner rather than later. But, uh, you know, we've got a lot of competition here tonight, um, just in general, but also... Uh, in this online lobby, uh, and I'm not sure who's going to take it. You know, we've had Mario Kart tournaments here before, you know. Yeah. Just like racing yeah. stuff, but... Uh, Mario Kart tournaments have been a lot of fun. Yeah. That last one was really good. Very much so. I mean, my friend Kenny, because I'm not going to say his tag when he's not sure, playing sure. on stream, uh, did uh, play one of the lamest Smash brackets I think I've ever seen him play, because uh, he was attempting to time out everyone he was playing against. But Hilarious. he had a really excellent run in Mario Kart, absolutely outplaying people to take home that first place. So yeah. he definitely took it home oh, with yeah, the... He won that. Yeah, that's crazy. He was playing soup. I mean, I don't know if you saw those races, but like, yeah. holy shrimp, that was cracked. There were some games that like. I mean, I have your IP, I thought, also, like, oh my god, his green shells are just yeah. nuts. Kareem was doing a really great job that night, too. But, Kenny ended up taking it, uh, yeah. but, you know, no items, uh, and no hope here for casuals reason, like me. Yep. You gotta hit those turns, and you gotta hit them good. Yeah, you gotta hug, hold the inner inner path. Yeah. That's a, that's a thing in racing. Chat, if you're here... Uh, please let me know some racing things I can say during the race. Um, <laughs> as a commentator, uh, just some classic racing terminology that I'm sure people would like to hear. Like, the, uh, oh, there goes the finish line. We definitely did some early study on a lot of things, but it's going to be an interesting night, I think, Ben. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely just getting excited to watch some cars race. I mean, we've been yeah. here for a hot minute, uh, but... Yeah, racing hopefully. in esports has surprisingly taken off in certain circles. Yeah, it's very really much so. Cool. I think it's. Uh, I think it makes sense. Yeah. I think uh, from like a person who's obviously removed from the the e racing community, sure. uh, it's it's kind of weird. Um, but that's also because I I have to drive a car like to a lot of different places. Like if yeah, I was yeah. uh, taking like public transit a lot, I think it would make more sense that I'd maybe want to be playing a racing game. But uh, 
In terms of like the high caliber racing games, or maybe even like the open world racing games, it really has just kind of gotten to a new level, especially yeah. like in modern era. Like I remember original Mario Kart um, playing it on like an emulator. Uh, Super Nintendo. Well, I played it on an emulator, but I think it was on Super Nintendo. Yeah, but the yeah. first one was Super Nintendo. That's yeah. The um, one. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it just feeling, like, weird to play, and now these games are just like, wow, I'm practically looking at a real car that I can't afford. I can't hardly play on the racing rig, because when I step into my car, it feels super different, and it weirds me out. Oh, God, yeah. It's crazy, dude. Try it. It's actually really fun. <laughs> I'm, I am honestly a little intimidated. It's, defi it's definitely intimidating. Do. Our, our racers are super, super talented when it comes to the racing rig and this, this game in particular. Um, but one thing that I found interesting is because of situations like COVID, a lot of, like, even NASCAR and Formula One racers switched over to being e-racers. And that really kind of kick-started, like, a, a, a different sect of the esports community, which I think is super cool. Yeah, that's really it, like, interesting. It's two different worlds, like people who like NASCAR, people who like Formula One, rally sports, whatever, and suddenly they were all watching people play Grand or WRC or uh, Forza or whatever. So I think that's really cool. And there have been some players who have come out of NASCAR in that situation and actually now compete in the esports level. Wow, that's yeah. really crazy. Yeah. They still do that, but they're also like, you know, this is another thing that they do. Yeah. And they're very competitive at it. A lot of those skills transfer to the video game. Crazy. Nuts. <laughs> I think that'd be really interesting to, like, try to understand. Do it. Okay. Ten minutes. Okay. We do that. All right. We got an update. Huge update here. Race is starting in ten minutes. Yep. So if you are a fan of Gran Turismo Sport, or you have a copy, and you want to jump in, search for the sweater spray in the room, and we will get that going in 10. Yeah, it'll be a good race. You know, I, I, think so. I wish uh, best of luck to all our competitors. Yeah. Um, we have to cheer for uh, for the Black Ice people. They have told us that, that they have told us that uh, we actually will be fired yeah. out of a cannon into yeah. the sun. I have heard this. <laughs> so uh, we got to be really careful about this. this story. <laughs> we got to be pretty careful about this. Um, I don't know about you, but I, I've never been shot out of a cannon. Don't want to. I personally have never been shot out of the sun either. No. Um, and uh, honestly, if I had to pick a way to go, uh, at least it's at least it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Make it hot. Like the car. Crazy. Plays racing games. Name is Audi. This guy is crazy. Audi in the secret rings. Because he can't show up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I know uh, Faisal was really talking himself up earlier. Not really talking himself yeah, up, but he, he... I was going to say, he was looking pretty good on those tracks. Um, so... Yeah, if anybody is going to take this, you know, it. I I hope it's out of your fight. Uh, I do too. I mean, obviously, like we're saying, we we want our home team to win, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, I really cool. I have no idea though, uh, because <laughs> we don't really know the the prospect of competition in the random lobby. But uh, no, I could definitely yeah, I definitely see kind of a lot of people coming out at least. I, I'd be interested to see. I want to say a full lobby, though. That would be really sick. Uh, just getting a full lobby of random people uh, and just watching Audi just style them. That would yeah, be really cool. That'd be, that'd be great. Uh, uh -huh. But, you know, we're, we're also changing up the format um, because we're not doing a time trial anymore, it, it would seem. Uh, it's an actual race now? It'd be an actual... I, I think so, at least. I, I, don't, I don't believe we're going to be running um, time trial I unless it's... Lobby is, like, set up. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's like a specific function in like these lobbies where you can set time trials where it's like you don't you don't have to interact with other people while you're going down uh, the same track. I'm sure there's a couple different ways you can do it. But uh, I, I mean, 
I'm kind of stoked either way. I mean, if we're going to get to if we're going to get to see a race, uh, we're going to get to see some uh, collisions. We're going to get to see some action, some physicality from these racers. Yep. Uh, Who's going to play dirty? That's the big question. But we were it, just talking about earlier today that the race. Like, the way Gran Turismo work is there is, like, a racer's enemy. And so people who are bumping into each other all the time or deliberately throwing other players off the track, so that's, that's not cool. And so the game actually, like, encourages you to play how you would an actual, like, race car race. No twisted metal. We'll see how that translates into the actual game, but I don't know. I'm stoked. That's you know, what I've been told. I want to see some brutality here on this track. Yeah. You know, I, I'm in it for the blood. I want to see the cars bleed. I want to see Lightning McQueen scream as a mater is torn in half. That kind of thing. Good lord, is this some Evangelion stuff? If only. If only. If those characters are in Evangelion, I think it would have been much more popular. <laughs> but, um... As we are getting into this race, I mean, we should definitely consider, um... The game. Because, yeah. I mean, you're right. Uh, Gran Turismo uh, is definitely more of the racing focus. So it's actually going to... Highly benefit people who actually know how to race. Um, yeah, I and how to, agree. And how to uh, how to actually understand like course geometry, proper pathing, and uh, speed control. Yep. Uh, which you I can't just hold the gas in these games. It doesn't work. Yep. And we'll end up in the grass. And you know, even if you're like, oh well, at least I won't get last. Well, I mean, everyone's just going to be looking at you because all you're trying to do is play bumper cars in Gran Turismo. Yep. So we're here to get fast times. It's going to be fast. We're playing the fast game. Are you a fan of the Fast and the Furious movies? No. I actually have not seen any of them. Wow. Okay. I have not seen one of those, like, franchise films that, like, he's fun in places and it gets, goes off the rails. Like, they really jump the shark. Yes. I think... I haven't seen the movies, but just by the titles, I would agree with you. Because the titles kind of just kind of go off. They're pretty fun, though, honestly. Yeah. Like... If, uh, if you're into action movies, I would recommend them. And obviously, if you're into cars, there's some really cool cars in there. Uh, I'm kind of partial to Tokyo Drift because I grew up watching that. It's got iconic music. And, you know. I'm sorry. I was actually just about to ask if Lightning McQueen was in the movie when you said there were some pretty good cars in the movie. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right. But The Rock's in there. Everybody loves The Rock. Oh, my God, yeah. Wait, Vin Diesel is in um, yeah. Nefers, or Oh, he's in those movies? Yeah, he's the main character. Oh, God. He plays, uh, Dom. Dom. Dom, he's a family. Ain't, no, ain't nothing like family, Dom. Yep. Nothing beats family. Did that, you like use I did, yeah. Yeah. No, Dom, forget the radishes. No, Dom, forget your wife. <laughs> no, oh, no, Dom. Dom's my favorite. I, I've met the book actor for Dom. Oh, really? Yeah, we're friends on Facebook. Oh, Carlos. my God. <laughs> I... It would be really hard for me you to meet... I don't know if he likes having me as a friend, but I like having him as a friend. I think it would be really hard for me to meet, like, um, voice actors who are my favorite characters in real life. It's bizarre sometimes. Because I would want them to say yeah. one phrase, and it would just ruin my perception of the series forever. The, the best thing I can think of, and I'm going to ruin your perception of the series right now, sure. is for Arcane. Uh, oh. Well, not for the reason you might think. Okay. Um, but in the League of Legends card game, uh, there is... I want to say an Easter egg. It's not really an Easter egg, but I interpret it as such. Okay. When you play Jace's deck, like the the deck that the game built for Jace, sure. it is in, it is it has a card called Golden Crushbot in it. Now, Golden Crushbot is a massive golden ball with two huge ass feet. <laughs> so, my big joke. Uh, and how I ruined Arcane for some people is just saying, oh, I mean, this seems really obvious. Jace made this because it's it's the per his perfect creation, because it has those big honking feet that he wants from everyone in Piltdown. So, okay. yep. so I would want to meet the voice act for Jace, and I want him to talk about how much he loves feet. <laughs> I don't think it ever happened. I don't think he would want to talk about feet, especially not with some guy who just explained some really random occurrence to him, yeah. but... You know, a man can dream. Play along for a lot of these things. Like I met the guy who did a lot of the voices for Ryu. Uh, he's a really cool guy. I mean, Ryu's been played by a lot of people. Right. Yeah. But, uh, he was one of them for a while. Five seconds. Oh my God! Wait, we're starting race. five seconds. We will be jumping into it. We'll get down. Here we go. This is huge. 
We're into the Sweater Speedway race. This is deciding it all. We've got some fierce competitors here tonight. I personally am very excited to see. We've got we Black four. Ice, Black Ice Club, Lace, who? and Lynn Specs. Faisal, are you 007 or are you the other one? Are you 67? Okay. All right, so Fosumia is uh, Black Ice 0067. Oh, we're getting into it. And then, uh, oh, we lost them. Oh, one person dropped out. Oh, We've got the top three now. It's already off to a rough start. I think this is great, actually, when you <laughs> consider the odds for Black Ice. I mean, this is huge. One whole racer eliminated? I mean, now, this could really... Put your, uh, labels on. Oh, there we go. All right, yeah. So, kind of as we predicted, Audi, our pro player, is leading the pack currently. Yeah, he's looking really good so far. Let's Going into turn two. Yeah, I mean, so far, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh no, Faisal going out, Fosumia taking a hit. He's hit the dirt! <laughs> yeah, but so far, I mean, these two races are looking pretty neck and neck, but, uh... Yeah, but Audi is... Yeah. Doing a fairly good job keeping up. Yeah, I mean, on that last turn, Audi managed to get the, uh, the inner course earlier, but, yeah, this time both players going outside, and, yeah, that's a really great turn there. I mean, he just cut out to in very well, just makes, makes that, uh, that pathing as straight as possible. Yeah, also carrying that momentum as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, but, uh... That might be... No, it's not. I mean, we can kind of... Yeah, we can uh, take a closer look, actually. Still very close here between these two racers, yeah. yeah not a whole lot of distance between the two of them. Oh, but now they're taking different sides, but... Oh, yeah, Audi's coming out on top with this. His positioning was just better. Yeah. Now I mean, here's the situation that we're in. If Audi makes a mistake, Lin Specs catches up. So this is really going to come down to execution. Well, it'll come down to execution. We've got five laps in this race, so good point. I think we got a lot of time for any player. I mean, uh, we have these two kind of up together, and Faisal where's, is... Uh, where's huh, Faisal's catching up. There he is. He's a little bit further behind. You can kind of see it from the map, but yeah. at the same time, Not you know, with, with these straightaways, uh, he should be able to catch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, right there. Already in, in vision. But now, heading into the second lap, and Linspex is actually taking the lead. Nice. I'm not sure where he did. I believe it was uh, just very quick on one of those last turns. And, and now straight away, I think ended up catching up. But now we're we're just gonna have to see how uh, how Audi paths creatively or uh, just paths better oh. to try to get around wind specs Look in these situations. There, yeah. The oh, goes for the in. Yeah, Audi goes for the inner side. path there, but oh, inside track. Chat, why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> That's what I should be saying. Inside track, there we go. Yeah, pull the outside track here. Looks like oh. hit the break to go to the turn. Yeah, that was a, I mean, these guys are both playing very clean with these turns. Reppin' Jack Daniels. Oh, but it looks like, uh... Yeah, it looks like Audi actually, uh... Actually wiped on that last one, so now he's oh, back no. on the track, and it even looks like, uh... Even looks like Faisal's coming into second place! Oh! An upset! Oh my god, this is huge. <laughs> I mean, now Audi, our, our pro, is in last place. And this is this is the guy who's good at the game. Yeah, crazy. Well, Michael also. He yeah. Plays a lot. Oh, yeah. So. Definitely gonna be fairly competitive throughout the entire thing. Linspex just, like, really yeah. kind of took over. I was gonna say, Linspex kind of just took off uh, with that one uh, straightaway. And, uh, but even now, I mean, Faisal uh, closing up on him 11 with 11 seconds behind. Yeah. Oh, that's really serious. Yeah, 14 here. Only three seconds behind Faisal, but 14 seconds is huge in these races. That's, that's time that you gotta fight to make that up. Yeah, and Linspex is just getting out of the straightaway as well. Got 12 seconds ahead on that lap. Wow, already in lap three. Yeah, this guy, this guy is cruising it. We just heard some people in the venue say it, and we're going to echo it on stream. That guy is fast. Yeah, Linspex. Is that Linspex or Sonic the Hedgehog? You know, that's an interesting question. <laughs> Very interesting question. I want to see the full Sonic car in this game. I think it'd be it freaking sick. Somebody has made it. Oh, for sure. Let's check up on these, uh, these racers here. You can barely see Audi in the rear view of uh, of Faisal, yeah. and uh, 
And Linspex is kind of just going off currently. He's so far ahead. Yeah, he's got a great lead currently. He's got that JD on the back. Huge. And Audi? Audi's trying to catch up. He's got two laps, though. Yeah. Uh, so it's doable. Yeah, I, I think it's still possible. 16 seconds is huge, though, in racing. He's got to... He has really got to pull this. And Linspex... And Linspex is just a, playing a very good race, I think. Um, just really, really catching it would take the... a pretty catastrophic mistake for Linspex, I think, to uh, to throw it away this far in the race, but time will tell. Oh, and this is the turn where, uh, where our players are struggling earlier. Pretty tough turn. Yes. But Sumia sharp. sticks through it. Linspex rounding into the straightaway. I think we... Oh, this is a tough turn. There it is. Oh, that was great. Hits the nice. inside track on the second round, too. Keeps that advantage. But Linspex, Linspex is so far ahead. I mean, 16, like 15 and a half seconds ahead. This is huge. That's great. <laughs> that guy's fast. That guy, he's fast. I believe that guy plays the game. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really interesting situation to be hanging out, commentating over Grand Tour Sport. I like this setup. I think this works really well. Yeah, I, I quite like this. Uh, getting to use the spectator uh, camera makes me feel like I'm doing something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you're like super active in what we're doing. Yeah, they're so close here. I mean, we, we only have two perspectives, kind of. Because um, it's, yeah. it's this, where we get to see these really clean... Oh, my God. I mean, it looks like something you'd see on TV, honestly. Taft has joined the room. Taft says hi. Hi. Oh no, I can't type right now because it'll ah, cover the screen. Yeah. Well, yeah, the the thing, the text box yeah, will just yeah. cover it. But either way, we do have people steadily trickling in, so we'll do a few races. Oh, oh sick. we got another one. We got TRB Xander. Oh, oh no! Yeah, Faisal oh. grounds out. Faisal and Adi, Adi just overtook him. Yeah, still so close between these racers, but we're headed into this last lap. Wow, Linspex. Yeah, very good. Uh, very good control. I mean, he's not really giving up this advantage at all. No. And, and now headed to the straightaway is so huge. But oh, no, another tough moment for Black Eyes zero 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 six seven. Oh, another clean, another clean head yeah. of that turn though. Yeah, good execution there, honestly. Yeah. And we've got Linspex uh, heading out of this straightaway while. Uh, well, Audi and Feisler are both heading into it. I might have a bit of a delay between their feet and ours, which is totally fine. But some of the reactions we'll get will be a few seconds late. <laughs> oh, God. This thing is looking neck and neck, and they just left the straightaway here. I am. Now, Feisler's got to find some way uh, to pass uh, to pass Audi if he wants to get second in this race. It's going to be tough, because, like we're saying, like... Whenever you make a pass, it's kind of a big deal in Gran Turismo. Honestly. Oh, yeah. I mean, Especially uh, when you're playing at this level, I think. Yeah, it's not like Rocket League or Twisted Metal where you're just trying to, like, knock people. No. It's literally, you, you just got to find a way to outmaneuver them. Like, exploit some poor pathing and uh, and just get in on the that inside track. Yep. Find the inside and sneak on in there. That's the way to do it. I'm going to say, as we're saying this, you know, Linspec's still in a very, very commanding lead. Yeah, I mean... Taking these turns very, very nice. And they get through this stretch and hit that straightaway. They're pretty well done. Yeah, just a really, uh, really clean gameplay. Not even, I yeah. mean, respectable. I personally can't tell how fast he's going, um, but it doesn't even seem like he's going that fast. Or something. Um, just bit very a, controlled. Bit of some jank movement there going on. I don't know how optimized that is. Yeah, hitting the uh, bumps and the edges. Yeah. Uh, definitely a little bit hard, but... So Linspex will take take the lead there. Yeah, and now we're headed back over to Faisal and Audi. Yeah. Audi currently ahead. Ooh. Not very much, though. Yeah. Fa oh. Oh, Faisal. Yeah, just grounds out a little bit. And Audi. Not by to, much. Yeah, but. managed to finish barely over him. I mean, both, I, there's our standing, Linspex, Vesuvia, and Audi, or er, Audi, and then Vesuvia. That was really close. It was a good race! And we do have some other people entering into the lobby, so we can Huge. run another one. Fastest laps, clean races. 
He went up three positions with that. That guy's fast. <laughs> that guy was fast. A wow. driver. A Dodge Viper. Thanks for the race. Oh, right. As per usual, I can say... Gaming? Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that was uh, an exciting race. I um, think so. That was fun. You know, nothing too, uh, nothing too out of the ordinary either, I'd say. Uh, in terms of just gameplay, just some really clean racing from all of our competitors, you know, yep. some, some mistakes along the way from, uh, from I'd say, every racer uh, to, to varying yep. levels of intensity, but... Definitely not a perfect race by any means for, for our two here, but very respectable, I think. Yeah, and Linspec's managed to take that home. That guy's fast. That guy's fast. Apparently piloting a Dodge Viper yep. in that race as well. I'm not sure uh, how well that... Uh, does that the affect meta it? is something yeah. that we, we don't really have a whole lot of background yeah. in. So, Chad, if you're there, you know, tell me the meta. Tell me tell me any any meta. Any meta that you want. Yeah. I don't care Based if it's Gran Turismo. Settings. Well, I don't care if it's Gran Turismo. You can tell me the fours of the meta if you really want sure, to. Sure. But, you know, when I think about Mario Kart meta, I often think very high acceleration. Um, because a lot of these tracks uh, don't really have great straightaways right. um, where you can hit that top speed. Um, but on this specific track, I mean, you, got, you have a... I'd say two and a half uh, straightaways. Uh, you almost have, you almost just have two straight spe uh, speedways to get top speed. Um, so I can see, uh, I can see top speed mattering quite a lot. But um, with the twists and turns on this track, it is hard to get through with low handling. You really got to get in there with the handling, I think, especially on tracks like this. One. Yeah. And this is a uh, circuit to Barcelona. Grand Prix layout. We yeah. can actually watch a bit of practice here as gonna we say. Uh, get the lobby going. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Oh, I think oh okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, Sounds cool. good. Are you going to name it the same thing? Okay. Oh, we could just we could probably just watch this for now but sure, while they're sure. making the new lobby. Yeah, so the update from Presumia, we will be jumping into a new lobby. It may be a track that's not as technical, so maybe we can get a few more racers in there. Well, for sure, for sure we are switching tracks. I don't know what kind of track we're going to be looking at. It's going to change the meta for sure. I think this is all map dependent, uh, which fr from a League of Legends standpoint and a yep. Smash standpoint, this makes perfect sense. You know, now you how many maps do they pick in League? Uh, two. Well, one of two. Because uh, you pick red side or you pick blue side. But um, it matters more depending on draft oh, okay. um, and how it works. Because um, whatever side of the map uh, decides first pick and draft. Um, if you play blue side... Um, I just wanted to uh, wanted to note that like there's only one map in League. <laughs> oh, uh, that is not true either. I know. But there are three maps. On. One of them was removed because Riot hates fun. Oh, uh, did they take out A-Rap? No, they took out the Twisted Tree line. Oh, I don't know that one. That's the 3v3 mode. Aww. Don't be sad. Nobody was playing it until after it was gone. That's like Smite. Joust is fun. Yeah. I, I love Joust. I like Smite. I... We should play Smite. Oh, God. I don't play like They're adding Smite. Uncle Iroh as a skin. Yeah. Oh, my God. They have so many weird cameos in Smite. That is almost got like Optimus push Prime, against... Turtles. Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. Yep. <laughs> Autobots roll out. Autobots roll out. That's who we need in, uh, in Gran Turismo Sport is Optimus Prime. Honestly, why don't and we just have a... Bumblebee. My god, a straight <laughs> Transformers <laughs> racing game. Yeah, just like a a regular racing game, but you can only pick Transformers characters. It's like the platform fighter. It's not even Transformers. Yes, that, that's <laughs> the kicker. The game is called Transformers, and you don't transform. You know what racing game I have that's actually kind of fun? I have that uh, Hot Wheels game. Oh, yeah? Wait. Hot um, Wheels Unleashed? Oh, from like... I forget who made 2008? it. 2008? No, from like a couple months ago. Oh, really. shit. It's got like ray tracing and stuff, and those, it actually like has plastic textures. It's really cool. Okay, that's actually kind of sick. I remember playing the... It's uh, not as good as it could be, but it's better than you would think. Yeah, I remember playing like the classic Hot Wheels game uh, oh, yeah, on like PC. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, I didn't even I didn't even know they were still making games, to be honest. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. It's, it's kind of a new thing. Oh, uh, host ended the game. 
We've got to get into uh, this next lobby. Get prepared for this next race. Swap back over to commentator cam. Yep. Yeah. Wait. It's like. Oh my god! There's wow. A track editor and stuff. Yeah, that actually looks good. It's a. Uh... Wait, there's a track editor too? Yeah. Again, lots Hot of cool ideas. Games. Doesn't quite hit the mark. Okay, and we're currently looking um, for this uh, this next room. So uh, you know we're at we're at a little bit of a pause uh, where we can we can talk about our favorite Hot Wheels. I think. So, what's your favorite Hot Wheels you've ever gotten? Oh no. Because I have an I answer to this. I have a purple dragon on it. I have an answer to this. Really? Yes. Uh, about two years ago, I worked at hy V, um, and immediately outside of where I worked, essentially. It's this one. Oh, that's this sick. is the one that I had. That's freaking awesome. The vintage 1987 Rodzilla. Probably it's called a Rodzilla. Yeah. That sounds like a. Yeah, it's got a big motor on it. This wow. This is the one I had when I was a kid. That's so nuts. Also, that sounds like a horrible it, innuendo. Like, it turns. The the head turns. Okay, that's sick. Yeah. That's freaking sick. I didn't have many Hot Wheels growing up. I like Transformers though. Yeah. I, I had this car. Chat. Funny. Funny that I just type in Hot Wheels Purple Dragon 90s and I find it. Chat, look it up. Yep. Yeah, we got you. Oh, we're going on this Dragon Tail. Now, Ooh, uh, Dragon I, Trail. Oh, Dragon Trail. Now, personally, my favorite Hot Wheel I have ever gotten was, uh, like I said, about two years ago when I worked at Hy-Vee, I bought a Groomobile, uh, which is the car from the Minions movie driven by the supervillain Gru uh, in a Hot Wheel form. Oh, goodness. Just look up the Groomobile. It's just GRU. Uh, yep, there it is. This one? Yep. Oh, like it's It's the, really bad, it's yes. It's the actual thing that he drives in Minions. That's yes. funny. I like the themed ones. There's a bunch of themed ones. Um, Restarted, I guess. <laughs> we just had the, the game crash in our end. <laughs> Anybody joining us, thank you. We are uh, doing the Sweater Speedway. Oh we're, no! We're playing Gran Turismo Sport. Well, the we're gonna be playing. Oh wow! Yeah, just put that back. Yeah, I just wanted to get out of there. We had the PlayStation crash on us, the uh, spectator PlayStation. So we'll uh, get that fired up. But yeah, we actually we'll have racers on our right on the racing rigs. Um, so we have Fasumia, and then we also have Audi. Audi being one of our Black Ice Pro players in the racing circle. And Fasumia being one of our co-founders. Yeah. So it's, it's a fun night. And we're here commentating. I'm Bond Root, and this is Alex AC McCumbers McCumbers. Yep. That's me. Once again, it would appear that the disc is be red. Weird. We are in it. Welcome to our second race of the Sweater Speedway event. Sweater Speedway. This is going to be nuts, because we have pretty much an entire lobby. Yeah. Huge. And trying to uh, get everything hooked up because we had a huge technical difficulty where the PlayStation that we were spectating on actually just straight up crashed. So that was something. Didn't expect that to happen. And it took a while for me to figure out how to like get it back on stream. But we're back. We're here. We've got practically a full lobby. Ben is uh, getting all of our UI elements up. Attempting to, anyway. That is weird. Maybe it's because it's out of the center of Both of them are connected, yeah. So we, like, learned how to do all this, and then everything broke, and now we're learning again. <laughs> you got it? Switch keyboard? Almost. On? Yeah, that, that input lag was banned. Just had to overcome some really horrible input lag. Uh, now we're good. We're good. Yeah? Get our whole racing set up here. Here in these this first lap, uh, just about halfway through, uh, just talking at first place, we got 24 from America. Nice. 
Where is uh, where's our right here? We've got uh, he's in top four. Uh, oh, four. push it, Absence off the. Oh no, Absence! There he goes. Now it looks like a CCR 87 Dominican taking the lead here. Staff Scott just very close behind it, uh, pulling in third. Also very close. Yeah, Audi, very close. Is Audi? Yeah, this is a uh, looking to be an exciting race as we head into the second lap. Really interesting to see. Uh, when, when we actually get the ability to watch a race before, like, hey, it's good stuff. Oh my God, There's yep. a lot of action. I feel like in the uh, the last race we got to watch. Oh, oh, he oh. Just barely made it. Not quite. Oh, no, that's and unfortunate. He, and he might have actually lost position from that too. Yeah, he actually lost a place from that, uh, trying to go for that. Um, yeah. To absence coming hey, you back. You got a risk in the biscuit, man. That's exactly what uh, what was attempted. Oh yeah, very much. So. I think you uh, you really uh, said it very well earlier. Uh, in that passing in Francis was actually very difficult because you have to really exploit passing differences. Yep. Um, you gotta be confident and it's just gotta you gotta get in the right place. Yeah. And it looks like Absent uh Absent and DM or DVM Freddy are playing for that fourth place spot, but now Absent's actually uh, sneaking his way into third place. Uh, Black Knight Club, uh, our own Audi is uh is neck and neck with Absent holding the, the third place position. Um, we still got Sap Scott and uh, CCR 87 Dominican in these first two positions. Both racers just absolutely neck and neck trying to get advantage. Yeah, there's lots of battles between first and second, second and third, third and fourth. Yeah, and uh, CCR Dominican once again takes the lead here. Oh my goodness. Oh, of our racers dueling this out on full play racing rig. Not in last in this race. Tumi is not in last. That's that's what we shoot for. Ooh. I couldn't tell if that was Audi. Um, oh, a penalty is on absence. I wonder if that's, uh, that's pretty pushing Audi at some point. Potentially. One second penalty. Two. Oh. oh my goodness. Yeah, but uh, Audi is looking relatively far behind absence. Now, DBM Freddy, also with a penalty, I will say, holding this uh, first place position, but now moving into fourth place. Man, these races really, like, taking off here. While well, we've been hanging out in the lobby, we've seen a lot of really good lap time. It's kind of incredible. Very much so, I mean. I mean, right here, we can we can see CCR uh, Dominican kind of just pulling out to a, a really big lead. In terms of a GT, Grand Prix, Looking at this, he's got a pretty substantial lead uh, heading into the third lap. Look at him go. Really, really good. Like, uh, like safe positioning. Positioning is very important in Grand Prix. Moving down into the inside. They make it look so easy. Low down penalty. Yeah, DDM Freddy uh, taking another. Oh, taking. That's tough. Not 100%. I don't know how that bad. penalty he goes, yeah, but. Uh, I mean, DDM Freddy uh, holding on to a very light penalty here in third place. Uh, very much contesting. Staff uh, Scott on this third place, looking to pass. Oh, no, that's a lucky uh, route. Now, have yeah. yeah. now, now they're probably not going to place them on. There. Oh, DBM Freddy finding room here. Pushes oh, he himself into first in place. place. And we're on this fourth lap again. not expecting to be Freddy in this far. This, this is our lone Chilean racer, and he's, he is going off right now. This guy is looking hot on the course. Hell yeah. But with a point, a point two second penalty, he is just barely ahead of these other racers, and he lost the first place position to CCR 87 Dominican. Yep. They're still very, very close. That's got in third. Where is oh, Audi. yeah. Uh, Audi pulling fourth uh, behind Staff Scott. Uh, see if I can see how much time he's behind, actually. Looks like he's uh, two seconds uh, behind first and one second behind third place. Yeah. Yeah, but he's getting closer. I mean, he's closing the gap. It's a war of inches. DBM Freddy once again pulling into the first place position. We're on the final lap. 
this could be anyone's race right now. Yeah, it's, it's one mistake could be another. DBM Freddy is definitely... Oh, Sascott trying to get the outside track there, but it doesn't happen. Lots of talent here in the in the Black Ice Lobby Twitter Speedway today. Yeah, DBM Freddy representing Chile and uh, Dominican representing uh, America himself. Yeah. Or America. All oh, there, absolutely neck and neck, and Dominican takes takes first place. At least. They're still fighting for this first place position, heading to the end of this race. But we're pulling around the curve. Not a whole lot of track left. The decision needs to be made. It needs to be made now. We're on to two, two oh, major straightaways. They're coming into this final stretch pretty hot. Oh, but he, TBM Freddy's got a penalty on him. So even if he finishes... Watch out, here comes out of your third. You never know. Oh, he's caught up quite yeah, a bit. he's caught up. Yeah, he's totally past Staff Scott as we head into this last straightaway. And it, it's it's going to be close. Yeah, just barely. Yeah, he'll at least get second he from that. He does get second, based on that penalty. Yeah. Yeah. DVM Freddy, unfortunately, taking that penalty, allowing Audi to get second. Yeah, he's just gone too fast. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, actually, it's weird getting penalized for going too fast in a race. It probably had something to do with bumping into another oh, I can only imagine. That. But, yeah, Audi taking second of that race. Yeah, that was a fun one. A real close one. Let's see what we got for our uh, remaining competitors. Susumia wanting another one. Redo. Hanging out in ninth. Just hanging out. Time remaining. The race finishes. Wow, just huge. I mean, really action packed, honestly. Yeah. There was a lot of upsets. Yeah, Audi just coming back so hard in that race. Especially like, uh, when that Aspen or whatever. Yeah. Was like leading most of the time and then just dropped out. Could have been a connection issue. Could have been. A, a huge mistake they just weren't feeling? Oh. If I lost grandma's on the wheel. What? <laughs> oh. Alright, we're gonna take five and then jump back into it. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. To pas <laughs> le meilleur? Say. I have no idea how to speak French. <laughs> That's so funny. He got, he got, uh, he nah, won. Man, no, me. he actually, he was the guy who won, wasn't he? It was me, Maul, behind the wheel, man. That guy's next level. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of people coming and going, so <laughs> great level of competition, honestly. I told the Black Ice guys they're, uh, <laughs> huh. <laughs> All right, we'll take a short break and then get back into it. Thank you so much for watching the Black Ice Twitch stream here at twitch.tv slash Black Ice Club. Check us out at blackice.gg in your favorite web browser. We'll be back momentarily. Heading into right. another uh, race here, Sweater Speedway. Yeah, we uh, actually had a player rotate out, so Fasumi is off cam currently, and we have the Ratch coming in. You know, yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> says that he will return. Swearing <laughs> vengeance on the course itself. It is a probably stacked lobby, but look at look at how many races we have. We have twelve. And yeah, we've got is that full? full? Is full that lobby? Max? Yep. Sixteen is the max. That's uh, still pretty uh, close, man. I'm gonna make sure that my uh, keyboard Hell is yeah. prepared. Okay, yeah, we're all yeah, good. Yeah. Good to go. Ooh, here we go. Audi on Black Ice 007. We have Sea Rats on the other Black Ice Club account. Here we go. Yeah. Audi so, leading the pack. Yeah, so far, Audi uh, up to a really, really lead. I'm heading into this first oh, turn no. and getting pushed around. Getting bullied a little bit. Come out of that straightaway just fine. 
out. I mean, we could do a... DBM Freddy's back. Knock out. Oh, Freddy. Freddy really wants that first place. He got... Freddy he got overtook! Absolutely robbed the last race. Uh, with that penalty. Yeah, yeah, with the penalty. Oh! Oh, late leaving. Been here since the beginning. Uh, but now, you know, we got a new top three in this game. Uh, Hell yeah. Coming in at third, and looks like he is very close to passing the body. Uh, he is GTC. Uh, Rolo EJ1. Rolo EJ1. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure either. Can we get the uh, overall map? Oh, yes. Spring track map. Nice. All right, here we go. There's our standing. Once again, on this, uh, on this Dragon Trail, uh, we're really going to be paying attention to uh, how these players pull ahead in these, uh, these tight turns, uh, because these, these straightaways, uh, I don't, I don't believe the, uh, the difference in top speeds between many of these cars are that much. But uh, no, your passes are definitely happening in the turn. Yeah, but, but just as we say that, uh, GTC actually managed to, uh, to go ahead of Audi there. And doing so on the straightaway as well, so building up enough top speed in the straightaway to actually be able to pass it uh, coming out, out of the turn. That's where uh, that's where top speed really matters yeah. when it comes to those points where you're actually needing to get to that top speed. But now we see Audi really kicking it up, uh, and very close to DM Freddy in second place. But now I mean GTC is uh, taken first, and now yeah, Audi's second. Uh, in second. So far, I mean this is definitely a. Definitely it's shaping up to be another very close race. Yeah. Where is uh, D Rat? Let's check in with him. Let's see. He's going to go there. There is a war. Alec. Oh, nice. In 11. In 11. Very. May, may not be last, but I think we lost the player. <laughs> Making progress, though. I was going to say. <laughs> Break, breaking himself into this race. But Chase Rats just love it to be here, obviously. And why not? It's the Black Eyed Esports space. It's fun. Yeah. Regardless of what level of skill, man. I say it all the time, I'll say it today. It's just uh, just nice to be able to uh, have that camaraderie for the competition. I agree. It's just a good time to hang out with a wee thing with your old friends. Play on these sweet crazy rigs. Yeah, and uh and once again, I mean, we're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of very sharp movement here to try to get this first place position. GTC and DMP or DBM Freddy just fighting it out. Yeah. Body fighting over that third place takeover. Yeah. It's really oh. close. I was gonna say CCR 87 Dominican, the guy who won our last race, is uh, he's trying to make a name for himself in this one, and uh, maybe his grandma's on the controller today because he's not holding first place. Yeah, this, this is something that was told to us in the chat earlier. So, yeah, that's his CCR 87 Dominican. Now yeah, get up, move over, Granny. I'm taking my controller back, pulling himself into this third place position, and making a run for these top two spots. No. Oh, Rolo! Oh, Sick. that's so bad. He just lost two whole positions. So Down much time. Fifth. Oh, no. Freddy taking the opportunity. Followed by Dominican. Followed by Audi. Where is Knight? Do we have a Knight? I know, but it's just positioning, I suppose. Yeah, it must have been some sort of weird overlap. Yeah, very strange, but either way, I mean, these top three are extremely highly contested, and with GTC taking kind of a, I mean, kind of a dust up, uh, moving down to fifth. Now it's DBM Freddy, uh, CCR 87 Dominican, and our own Audi uh, contesting these top three spots. Looking Freddy's leading almost by a full second. Not quite though, but roughly a second ahead. Yeah. Now we have seen a uh, we have seen Freddy uh, not be perfect. Oh, oh, there's Audi in second. Yeah, CCR Dominican uh, taking a little Here bit of a duster there. And now Aries of War 13, playing in a third place, but very far behind Audi. But even Audi is, is pretty far behind DBM Freddy. Uh, yeah, Freddy really is just like tearing it up right now. Yeah, a whole second on top of it. Oh, he's close in the gap yeah. though. Here he comes. Today's the day. Yeah, it's just all about speed going through those turns, and, uh, and Audi is still just staying right on his tail. All the 
about how well yeah, that was a very great turn, taking the inside track there, just going out to it. Body behind. Catch up to slick movement here. Another turn. Oh. Very, very clean. Oh, Audi no. taking a little bit of a oh. dust there. Yeah, Audi taking a little bit of a duster there. Uh, still trying to come up against Freddy, who's oh, now a whole, on a four four second. Second lead. Yeah, a whole four seconds ahead. Wow. One false move, then, is all it takes. Yeah, it really does. Maybe in the dust. But uh, for every mistake Freddy doesn't make it, anyone else does. I mean, that lead just grows more and more for him. Gets the game. I was going to say, let's go check it on Audi. Yep. Oh, he was actually passed by uh, GTC. Uh, yeah, we're very close to uh, second and third positions, but uh, he just, you know, it just doesn't feel like he's passed him. He's so far ahead. Definitely not. People are moving around this roster. There's a the ranking. They're not yeah. staying in one particular position. There's a lot of battles happening throughout the race. Yeah, we've got a lot of hot contestation, but, you know, at the very top, at the pinnacle, we've got DBM Freddy, who's, who's oh, just five, five seconds, seconds ahead. ahead. Holy crap. That's just huge. Well, what do you God. fill this tank up with? Rocket fuel? Sugar. Sugar? Straight sugar. <laughs> is the sugar run. Oh, no, Aries of War. Aries the wall. Yeah, taking a duster. Now we've got Black Ice Club, oh, our own audience. Watching it. Going up against Rolo EJ1 for the second place position while while Devia Freddy is, is just running it. The game keeps increasing. He's on a he's on a tear, man. I mean he's the lone Chilean representative in our race. Yeah. Um, and he he is really dominating it so far. Really showing off. Check that hour out again. He's seven seconds behind. But only a second behind uh, second place. But we are in uh, essentially the last straightaway, so he has got to find an advantage now if he wants to take second. Not a whole lot of time left. Oh, going very close. That's bumping. Twenty. Oh, but I don't think it's going to be enough. This could be very, really close. An attempt is about to be made, Ben. Here, though. Here we go. Yeah, he Whoa. tries to hook on the inside track there. Or on the outside track, rather. Catch the draft and finish. Yeah, DBM Freddy. I mean... Just yeah, really wow. dominated the second half of that race. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And now we've got our top three. So let's check it on five. Just yeah, pull it in here. Fairly tight group there between six, six, and seven. Robs are uh, pulling in now, and it looks like CCR Dominican uh, gets control back to Grandma. Oh. Yeah, Grandma behind the wheel. And now, as uh, yeah, as we look to finish this up, now we'll get to see the uh, rest of our positions. There's the full roster. See, Red, having a great time, though. Having a good time. Yeah. Pulling up at 11. Yeah, we can do it, though. Sounds good. About five. Let's take a five-minute break and get right back after it. Honestly, great to see uh, great to see our Chilean representative win another yeah. race. Really sweet. Vesuvia has made the promise. That is about to be fulfilled live on Black Ice Club here on Twitch.tv. Ooh, the revenge. Hanging out at the Black Ice Esports venue is always a pleasure, and that's what we're doing, Ben. Yeah, it's always a lot of fun getting to interact with, you know, you, my boy, obviously, yeah. and, uh... Thank you, thank you. Getting to talk over some esports, it's really nice. The past couple months, we have really gotten close. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, we've... We've experienced so much together. <laughs> Wings. <laughs> Wings. Smash Brothers. Smash Bros. I'm sure there were other games. Melty Blood Bouts, <laughs> of which you have overtaken me very quickly, and I'm salty about just a touch. <laughs> mm, it, I know the answer as to why that is, though. I play the broken character, yep. and the easier character. Yep. And I have no shame about it, because goddamn, he looks cool. He is a cool character. I, li I like you guys. He's, he's sick. Just gorilla characters. Yes. I feel like I might be able to take you in Tekken these days, though. I'm starting to, like, and Street Fighter V. You could probably beat me in Guilty Gear. Guilty oh. Gear if I play Kai, because he plays a lot like Ryu. Yeah, he's, he's a classic. But I, I don't I know a don't lot of his him. links. I just hit and then go into a dragon punch and hope for the best. Yeah, I'd have to just <laughs> play Potemkin, because I'm just that guy. Oh, Potemkin? Ugh. 
Here's the thing, every time I come across a big grappler like a Potemkin or a Zangief, I don't have a very good answer for that, because my character is traditionally at a disadvantage, because mm -hmm. I use the Shoto. Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. very much, okay, very much so with that. You I kind of are forced to play a range. as a Mollywop, it's just, it's, it's really frustrating, but I'll learn it eventually. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's hard to say, but it's all about that camp rope. Yep. Sometimes you just gotta be the lamest guy in the room, because, uh, because play lame, win game. I don't like doing that, which is why I lose. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, we'll be back in a few minutes. Listen, you know, playing lame, good. Like... Okay, going into another race here at the Black Ice Space. We got one more for the night for you, and then we're going to call her quits. And you will see us next time in 2022. Yeah. Oh, my God. It'll be so weird. We'll get to say uh, we'll get to say all sorts of wacky things about the new year. Hopefully, it'll be a better one. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> 2020 and 2021 is taking a lot out of me, Ben. I feel bad. Oh, there were actually stats that showed up there. I really, really wish that I knew what they meant. Interesting. All right, well. Just, like, individual car stats and stuff. That was... Simeon had a really good starting position, but uh, really botched that. Oh, no, unfortunately. There goes, there goes Adi at first. Yeah, Adi, uh, up to early with the speed. And I'm looking around to see if we have our Chilean competitor in this race, but it, and it does not look like, uh, like Freddy's return. Okay, Adi is a good stretch here. Followed by Ally. And then Cor Dominican. Been in the lobby before. Yeah, I mean, uh, the tank goes up, I believe, we had the last race, too. Yeah, that is correct. That was uh, we, do, we do have some new people with us. We've got NCCCX underscore from Argentina. Yeah. Um, Alec, uh, who was not in our last race, Howie555K uh, yeah. from Canada. Uh, but now, I mean, uh, this this top three kind of game was my turn early. CCR87 Dominican, once again, uh, coming off to a roaring start. But I will say, you know, these last two races, he has kind of fallen off because of the uh, small mistakes. Yeah, it seems like that particular racer is really good in the early game, but has a tendency to just, like, make some of those large mistakes that end up putting them further back yes. as the race finishes. I would definitely be. Um, Great early game player, late game struggle. Yep, it's all about consistency, really. Being able yeah. to consistently hit these turns. Oh, oh, there's a big pass. Big pop off from uh, Postumia in the venue as well, pulling into sixth place. But for now, at least top two positions. We are in seventh Dominican and Audi just is kind of almost getting in there. Wow, real that, close. Yeah, I mean it's very brave to go on outside track Long like that. Pain a little bit. Squeaking into first. Very very close. It's literally neck and neck. Going into the first turn on the second lap. Oh, but now uh, Dominican goes for something a little risky. Yeah, and uh, Audi just, just taking the straightest path there, forcing uh, forcing Dominican to get behind him if he wants to take the inside track. But now, what player is going for another uh, inside track take? But, oh, oh, the pressure! Yeah, getting pushed a little Dominican bit, too, it looks like. We will see that back and forth. Meanwhile, Sumia moving up from 6th to 5th. Yeah, but Sumia looking forward. really solid here. Another Dizik! Uh, kind of uh, erratic movement coming out here, but it's all going to be how well these players can take these turns. Good looking turn. Yeah, a little like headlight blink there for it. It's all going to be about speed at these. Oh, oh no! no in the wall! Yeah, taking a little bit of dust, but he's still in this race. Drop down to seven, but yeah. I was going to say that. Uh, more laps to go. Some acceleration loss from that. Uh, that dub though, but now, I mean, our top three are looking pretty fine now. Yeah, they're, oh, they're Adi really in a tough situation there as Ally pulls ahead. Oh, uh, now, uh. Is catching up quite a bit, actually. Yeah, he, he has Maybe so third. much momentum here. Now, it'll all be about how these, uh, how these turns get executed. I mean, Adi is really in a really needs to find his way uh, back to the top there. He wants to be able to contest this number one spot, I'd say. Yeah, head into the straightaway. 
man, this game is beautiful. Yeah. Sometimes it really just, it, you turn away and look, and you might be thinking that you're watching something on, like, ESPN. But no. This is PS4. Yeah, we're playing video games. It's not even PS5. Yeah, it's PS4. The next strength is going to be the same. And there's a, yeah, there's another port. There's a, the other port. Yeah, Forza Horizon 4 just came out on the Xbox. Open the world. Very interesting. Hey, it's very pretty. Catching up on audience. Yeah, let's look how large. I was going to say, I want to see how large this is. It almost looks like a. It's a fairly large game. It's a pretty big to make back, but uh, we've got some straightaways coming up. But do me a point to start there. You could potentially look at the fourth day in the spot. That could be where the catch up happens. Lots of trading around. Ooh, that was great to watch right now, I think, is Nivix. Oh, yeah. is really just consistently been taking places. Yeah, I mean, just constantly climbing up this uh, this ladder to, to take this second place position. And now, uh, I mean, now just contesting, contesting first place. Yeah, I mean, we've seen Ali uh, in top three for basically this entire race, but uh, it wasn't until, I'd say, last lap where Nimix managed to really cement themselves in second place. Canadian racer has been very good. And our lone uh, representative from Argentina is once again showing up, just like our last representative from South America. Love to see the, the various nations in these lobbies. I think that's a cool touch. Yeah, it's a small touch, but I think it's cool. It's really nice, uh, especially it's it's a little bit of nationality, but it's also like uh, just a way to to be able to talk about players. Uh, it's very helpful in those lobbies. Oh, but trying to pull it into first. Trying to go on the inside oh, track. Oh, pull it into first. Yeah, there's breaks it through, and we've got Audi here in third place. And, uh, yeah, coming up behind. Making the. Closing the gap a little bit. Oh. It's a very, very tight race. This guy's going fast. Yeah. Yeah, four out of five laps. We've got two coming down to the wire here at the last race for the night. Black Ice has not taken a win yet. We'd love to see a Black Ice win today. We did take a second win earlier in the night. That's true, yeah. For the, the great PlayStation crash of December 22nd. Uh, uh, my buddy's back. He's at the same time. Oh, but CCR Dominican, not willing to give up this first place with nothing. Fight pulls back into it as they're going into this last lap. Nice. A lot of back and forth. And Audi kind of trailing from the top two. These guys are just uh, all pressure, too, a little bit on Dominican. Yeah, I mean, try, I think just trying to get him to uh, take a worse path out into these first turns to give out that inside track. And it looks like he's going to have to give it if he wants to, yeah. wants to get through straight. Mix does make it through there based on just sheer speed alone. Not quite much though, it's still close. Yeah, it's, we're looking very, very close. And uh, CCR Dominican very much respecting that he doesn't have inside track on these turns. Uh, just trying to find some way to get an advantage over the index. I think he was maybe looking at it uh, in this uh, pseudo straightaway, but. Honestly, with these two players contesting for the first and second position, this could be an opportunity for Audi to seek it. Very much so. I mean, especially if uh, if there's going to be pressure uh, shown on uh, either of these races from the other. You know, Audi is in, a, is in a potential spot to be able to take you know, the top two finish if, if one of these racers just makes a mistake or pressures the other one too hard. Something that I think... Uh, may or may not be coming through on the stream is uh, our racers are here at the Black Ice Space having a great time, man. They're, they're just having fun. What a way to end the night. Yeah, what a way to end this race. We're looking so close. That is the last one. But Nivik, he's just got... Oh, my God. No way. CCR Dominican, Dominican pulls out of it. Moving in. And takes the inside track as well. This is a guaranteed finish. Here at the last stretch. Yeah, and putting more Very wall pressure. Close. Oh, Here it's back come. in deck, but Nivix is actually retaking it. He's going to oh, wow. pull out first. 0.1 seconds. Wow. Adi in third. Oh, but we've got a, a hot... struggling for fifth and sixth. I was going to say, we've got a hot battle for fifth. Oh, he comes in. 
Oh. He's in the side. But pushed out. Hit the gas. Unfortunate. Ends oh, up so in six, close. but really pushed to try to make that fifth place. Yeah, real close. Real, real close. Really, really good lobby. A lot of skill, once again. I mean, the people that are hanging out in this particular game, in the online circles, they, they come with some skill. They're not coming in as novices. Yeah, they're coming from all sorts of places. I mean, just yeah. now, Argentina finishing in first place in this race. Yeah. So huge for Nivix. Uh, or Niv Nivix. Either way, excellent, excellent night of Gran Turismo Sport action on the PS4, on the racing rigs. Oh. Here in the Black Ice Space in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Ben, it's been a pleasure. It truly has been a pleasure. I'm just thanking our racers here. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, gracias por la carrera coming out from Nivzix. Uh, just having a really great time all around. I had a yeah. great time being on Mike. I hope you did as well. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. We'd love to do more racing content. Yeah. I think it was a really cool change of pace for us. Uh, yeah. We've got to do a lot of different things. Fighting games, obviously, is something that we've kind of, I think, got in the bag. And uh, we got to try out some Halo. We've done a little bit of uh, Mario Kart here recently. And now with Gran Turismo Sport, it's just... It's another chip in our hat, I think. Yeah, and uh, it was a really good one. Yeah. I mean, great competition, even if it was a smaller race. Just so yeah. much energy coming out from the space. and Opening up the public lobby was a very, very smart yeah. play. So, yeah. until next time. Yeah, thank you very much for coming out. Uh, I am Bond Rude. You can find me at Bond Philbin on Twitter. And, of course, you can find me at AC McCumbers on Twitter. Uh, you can also check out a lot of my work on foreverclassicgames.com. But, uh, of course, anything that you want to know about Black Ice is available at blackice.gg. It sure is blackice.gg. Plug that into your favorite browser and hit enter. Please. And that'll be all for us. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll catch you guys on the VOD. Until next time, let us know if there's a particular game you want to play or if you have a group of people that want to go in and get a bracket happening. We can accommodate all different types of play here at the space. So we would love to see you here physically and even in the Discord, online, wherever you might find us. Yeah. Hang out with the community. It's it's a really, really good group of people, I think. Yeah. I mean, we've have gotten to have so much fun at pretty much every one of our events. It's, yep. it's only fair if we yep. offer the same to you. So yep. come on down to the Black Ice Space, Minneapolis, yep. Minnesota. We're going to head out, though. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a good night. Take care.